looks like rain, Ted. Come on, Dougal. It's your go. I must say, Father Hernandez, it's been wonderful having you over. But I expect you're getting homesick for Cuba by now. Yes, my country is very beautiful. But, Ted, you have a great life here on Craggy Island. You have two good friends. Father Dougal. And, of course, Father Jack. Yes, but I must say, I miss the noise and the lights and, you know, the, the whole buzz of the big city. You were in Wexford, Wexford yeah? weren't you? <laughs> I was, yes. But Craggy Island has its charms. The west part of the island was beautiful, until it uh, drifted off, of course. <laughs> drifted off? Yes, there was a bit of a storm and it just came loose. <laughs> now we don't have a west side, it's just north, south and east. <laughs> but it was lovely while I was there. You know, Ted, your housekeeper is a very beautiful woman. Sometimes this celibacy is hard for a man. <laughs> Yes, well, uh, you have to check the rough of the smooth, I suppose. Bishop Brennan springs to mind. I see. Oh, yes? Yes, Bishop Len Brennan. He's our kind of boss. <laughs> Apparently, he was, uh, at the old... <laughs> himself. And the union was blessed, so they say. No. No. Me no, Nina. Boy or girl? A son. He lives in America, or so goes the rumour, anyway. <laughs> Was it Colonel Mustard in the kitchen with uh, the candlestick? What? <laughs> Colonel Mustard in the kitchen with the candlestick. You have Colonel Mustard. You showed him to me earlier. How could it be Colonel Mustard if you have Colonel Mustard? All right. <laughs> Father Hernandez, your goal. Si. Yes. Creo el I think it was... El Reverendo Green. The Reverend Green. With the knife uh, in the drawing room. <laughs> Those Protestants, <laughs> up to no good as usual. <laughs> What's Father Jack looking at? What's that you're watching, Father Jack? What? Is that a film you're watching? What? Isn't that Kiefer Sutherland? What? Is that Flatliners you're watching? What? Is Father Jack a little hard of hearing? What? Yes, he gets a kind of waxy build-up in his ears. And then we have to syringe them. It's not very nice. It's great, though, in a way, because, you know, we're never short of candles. What? Well, that was in his head last week. And there's a few more over there. <laughs> We've nearly enough for a papal funeral. <laughs> He's a sort of one-man candle factory. Aren't you, Father Jack? What? <laughs> honest he can hear well enough when he wants to <laughs> watch this <clears throat> father jack would you like a glass of brandy yes <laughs> <laughs> oh you see he's a terrible man <laughs> brandy brandy all right all right all right now say when huh say when huh tell me when you want me to stop pouring huh oh all right that's it is it you sure don't anymore yes 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 Hello, Craggy Island Parochial House, Father Ted Crilly speaking. <laughs> ah, hello, Bishop Brennan. How are you? <laughs> yes, no, all right, good, yes. All right, of course, yes. Goodbye, bye, so. That's the boss. He's coming over. He wants to talk to us about something. Come on, we better finish this. This must be the longest game of Cluedo I've ever played. How long are we at it now? Five hours? <laughs> Ted, should there not be some cards in here or something? <laughs> Again, I have no words to say how thankful I am. That's a bit ungrateful, Ted. Don't you worry, Father Hernandez. However, I do have some gifts from the people of my village. Please do not laugh at this simple example of Cuban handicraft. <laughs> it's a video recorder. Yes, I'm sorry. It's a very basic model. It has only a three-week pre-record facility. 
don't worry about that. It's great. <laughs> Thanks very much, Father Hernandez. It's wonderful. <laughs> and for you, Ted, I have something very special. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you really shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. <laughs> it is a Cuban fertility symbol. I hope it brings you as much luck as it brought me. Yes? Eh? Eh, my friend? Well. I was dead. Come on now, Dougal. The bishop will be here any minute. All right. Now, do you remember what I told you? Huh? It's very simple. I'll no account to you to mention what we were talking about last night. All right, yeah. What were we talking about last night, Ted? <laughs> you know, the rumours about the bishop's little mistake. All right, yeah. What mistake was that now, Ted? <laughs> his son. His son in America. Oh, yes. He's a son. <laughs> in America. Yes, well, so they say. Right, right. Well, that's news to me, Ted. <laughs> we were talking about it last night, Dougal, to Father Hernandez. Who? <laughs> All right, the Cuban lad, yeah. He gave us a video. Bishop, you remember? Right, OK. Just forget all about it. Just forget about it. Just do not mention the sun. Have you got that? I have, Ted. The lights are on, but there's nobody home. <laughs> oh, Father Cridley, Bishop Redden is here. Hell's bells. Right, show him in. Dougal, now remember, not a word about the sun. <laughs> Hello, Bishop. How are you? Come on in. Sit down. Sit down there, Your Grace, beside uh, Father Dougal. <laughs> Mrs Doyle? Some tea, please. Oh, certainly, <laughs> Father Crilly. How's the sun? What? The son of God! How's the son of God? How's everything in the world of religion? <laughs> the world of religion? What the hell are you talking about, Crilly? Well, you know. Oh, Mrs. Doyle, let me sign that tea. <laughs> here I am, here I am. Oh, isn't this grand? I'm fine, thank you, Mrs. Doyle. Will you not have a cup of tea, Bishop Lennon? No, I am not going to stay. I want to get right to the point and get the hell out of here. Are you sure you won't have a cup? I am certain, thank you. Go on, have a cup. No, thank you. Now, I... look what everybody else is having a cup. Would you not have one yourself? I do not have the time You'll now, feel clearly. left out. You'll be Bishop Piggy in the middle. I'm fine. I am fine. Are you sure you won't have a cup? Just a drop. No! Bishop Piggy in the middle. <laughs> Just say yes, Your Grace. It's, it's quicker, believe me. All right, then, yes. Come on. I grant so. <laughs> well, I hope you're not doing too much damage here, huh? Jack? Are you behaving yourself? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Your Grace, uh, what brings you to these parts? Thinking of sending us back to our parishes. <laughs> Fat chance. You're here until I tell you otherwise. Do you think I'd let Jack back into a normal parish after the wedding he did in Athlone, huh? <laughs> yes, but, but surely I, I'm all right. No, no, no. No, no. You were here until the, all of that money is accounted for. <laughs> I didn't know what happened to that money. I... Enough! You went to Las Vegas, whilst that poor child was supposed to be in Lourdes. <laughs> and as for this... cabbage... <laughs> the mere idea of letting him back into the real world after the Black Rock incident. Yes, that was The amount of people's lives irreparably damaged. Uh, there were only nuns. <laughs> nuns are people too. My God, the strings I had to pull to stop the Vatican getting involved. I do not want to talk about it. I just want to get this film business over and done with. F film? What, what film? This blasphemous film. The Passion of St. Tibulus. Now, His Holiness has banned it. 
But because of some loophole, the bloody thing was showing on this godforsaken dump. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, is it any good, do you know? I don't care if it's any good or not. All I know is that we have to be seen to be making a stand against it. I have been brought back from my holiday in California to sort it out. <laughs> and that's where you and Larry and Mo come in. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I know that normally you wouldn't be able to organise a nun shoot in a nunnery. <laughs> but despite that, it's up to you to make the church's position clear. Make some kind of a protest at the cinema. Even you should be able to manage that. Oh, thanks very much. Listen, this is very serious. Don't make a balls of it, right? I'll be in touch. Your Grace, that, this, this isn't really my area. Nothing is your area, Crilly. You do not have an area, unless it's a kind of a play area with sandcastles and buckets and spades. Now, do what you're told, right? Bye now. This is silly. There's nobody here, for God's sake. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to say we have a treat in store today for all ye fans of French cinema. Is this subtitled? Pardon? Is it subtitled or is it dubbed? It's subtitled. Oh, yes. Shall we start the protesting now or what? Yes, I suppose so. Or, or maybe we should just stay and see a little bit of the film first. No, let's just get it over with. Uh, maybe it's not too bad, Ted. It could be another commitment. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad, Dougal. It's the morality we don't agree with. Right, let's go. Boo! Boo! Stop, Stop that, that now! Boo, you bad Stop Who is that? <laughs> Dirty, filthy beggars! Boo! No, no, you... Boo! Ted! Father Dougal, tis yourself! Hello, Michael. Oh, How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm grand, then. How's Father Jack? Well, we haven't seen him since we had the last shot and stone season on. <laughs> He's grand. He's a bit tired, so he won't be along today. <laughs> All right, but you're making a fierce racket. It's a long story. <laughs> we have the bishop over, you know, Len Brennan. Oh, that gobshite. Yes, and he's going mad because of the film. Aye, and he told us to come down here and kick up a bit of a fuss. All right, yeah. Oh, but there's only one thing, though. Uh, you're sort of uh, disrupting the show. We're not, are we? Oh, God. I'm awful sorry, Michael. Oh, no, 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 no trouble at all, now. But uh, if you could keep it down a little, I mean, we have to think of other people. No problem. You can count on us, Michael. Uh, Michael, Michael, um, I, I don't suppose you'd, um, you could throw us out. Uh, just so we could tell the bishop. Oh, no problem. Huh? Do you want to go now? Uh, sure, no, we might as well stay and see the film first. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll uh, throw you out after the film. Grand, grand, right. And, uh, <laughs> We're still okay for the um, half price. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Enjoy the film. <laughs> Ooh! How <laughs> <Now> are you? <laughs> what was all that about? You're asking the wrong person there, Ted. <laughs> I couldn't make head nor tail of it. I know for a fact that St. Tibulus wore more clothes than that. <laughs> He was from Norway or somewhere. He'd have frozen to death. <laughs> and do you remember that bit when St. Tibulus, he tried to take that banana off the other lad? <sighs> that wasn't a banana, Dougal. <laughs> anyway, let's get some sleep. Oh. <laughs> Give us a B, please, Bob. <clears throat> Beethoven. <laughs> Give us a C, please, Bob. <laughs> um, carnivorous. <laughs> F, please, Bob. Oh, God. Not blockbusters again. Fettuccine. 6 a.m. Great. Another eight hours sleep. <laughs> you awake, Ted? Huh? This is fantastic, isn't it? Another great lie-in for the lads. <laughs> it is. Do you want to be terrible, Ted? Wouldn't it be terrible if Bishop Brennan came in and he told us to go down to the cinema and start protesting again? <laughs> this is ridiculous. The flipping place doesn't open for another seven hours. But what about what the bishop said? Didn't he want us to chain ourselves to the railings? How are we supposed to do that? Well, O'Leary's might have something. Right, you go and get something. I'll... Uh... I'll just stay here and guard a closed cinema against anyone who might want to watch a film that doesn't start for another seven hours. Jack! What the hell are you up to? 
Why aren't you at the film? Fake her. <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> Listen, did, uh, did you see my bag anywhere, my traveling bag? Hmm? Well, if you do see it, would you give it back to me? It's got my bloody passport in it and uh, everything. <laughs> right. You're gonna stand there all day, you fat old bitch. Don't talk to me like that, you big pile of shite. <laughs> you ignorant prick. You watch that mouth of yours. I'll watch nothing. I'll stick this up your ass. Ah, oh. Hello, you two. Father, how's tricks? We haven't seen you in a while. We were just going to have some tea. Will you have a drop? Uh, no, thanks, Mrs. O'Leary. No, I'm fine. Well, uh, what can we do you for, Father? Well, I was looking for a pair of handcuffs, actually. A pair of handcuffs? Yeah. What do you need them for? Oh, nothing much. They're for me and Ted. You and Father Ted? Yeah. We're just trying something out. <laughs> well, uh, actually, funny enough, I think we do have a pair. Um, Sergeant Thornton left them here when he retired. Retired from what? From the police. The police? Was Sergeant Thornton a policeman? <laughs> um, he was, yes. Why do you think he wore the uniform? Oh, I thought he was just having a laugh. <laughs> anyway, um, here's the handcuffs. OK, thanks. Right, great. Bye now. Bye, Father. Down with this sort of thing. Careful now. Down with this sort of thing. Hello, Father Crilly. Ah, hello, Jim. Out of a hello. Glow. I've seen your picture in the paper. What? Here, have a look. Ah, look at you. <laughs> so it, it's a blasphemous film, Father, is it? Oh, it is. What type of thing is it? Mad stuff. It's very immoral, Jim. You wouldn't like it. Is it a type of nudie thing, Father? <laughs> you wouldn't believe the amount of nudity in it. You see, the lot, dear Father, or, or is it just the top half, you see? Nothing is left to the imagination. Well, I'll be off. Goodbye, Jim. <laughs> hello there, Fathers. Ah, hello, Mrs. Sheridan, Mrs. Glynn. The Passion of Seeing Tribulus, what's that? Is it a Western or a musical or something? We always go on Tuesdays. It gets us out of the house. Oh, we saw a great one a few weeks ago. The Crying Game. Oh, it was brilliant. Oh, there was this great bit in it. You see, there was this girl. And then you find out it's not a girl, but a man. <laughs> and he got his lad out. What? what? Yes, he got his lad out. Well, you only see it for a second, but you get the message. I don't know what it was at first. It's so long since I've seen one. <laughs> I thought it was rather like your billies. Not at all. Billy's is rounder at the top. <laughs> Cheerio, Father. Will you be stopping them going in or what, Ted? It just goes to show, Dougal, nobody takes a blind bit of notice of what the church says anymore. Hello, Pat. Father Crilly, hello. How's your wife? I hear she hasn't been well. She's dead, Father. <laughs> when did she... Ah, oh, just a couple of hours ago. Really? Yes. Anyway, that's just the way it is. <laughs> What's the film like, Father? What? Is it any good? I was reading about it in the paper. I don't think you should be thinking about going to a film if your wife has just died. Yeah. Sure, I might wander in. <laughs> I'll contact you about the funeral details later. Well, Fathers, I must say, this is extraordinary. This is the most successful film we've had since Jurassic Park. It's breaking all sorts of records due to all this publicity over your protest. You certainly didn't plan it that way. Oh, my God, would you look who it is? <laughs> oh, thank God, I've been supporting that. Fair play to you for turning. Come on, Father, I get you a seat. <laughs> right, Dougal, I've had enough of this. We're leaving. Give me the keys. Keys? <laughs> What's this then, Your Grace? Uh, why am I looking at a globe of the world? Well, um, how can I explain? Firstly, a resume of the last few days. Now, I don't know if you remember 
But I came in here with the idea of you making a dignified protest about this film. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, good. You know, just to show the church's opposition to the film. But, and this is the part that I find most interesting. You have actually made this film the most successful film ever shown here. Isn't that great? Huh? <laughs> I mean, people are coming from all over the country to see the film. They're even coming from Gdansk to see the film. <laughs> Look at this, look, look at that, look. There's you, there's Forrest Gump, and there's Father Jack actually watching the film. Now there's a turn up for the books, what? <laughs> right, now, I think the best thing would be for ye three to continue your careers as priests come film promoters outside of my jurisdiction. Huh? Now, Ted, I thought that you might like to go to America, hmm? What part do you think? Well, um... Las Vegas? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ted. I'm in South America. <laughs> oh, you see, there's a lovely little island off the coast of Suriname, and... Uh, <laughs> they have a couple of tribes there. You're going to love this. <laughs> and they have been knocking the shit out of each other since 1907. And we have never been able to find the right man to bring them together in a spirit of Christian harmony. But I think that you are the man. Well, thanks very much. No need to thank me. By the way, do you know how to make uh, arrows? No. Well, not to worry, not to worry. It'll come to you. <laughs> now, Dougal, over to you. Isn't it funny how some of these places in the Philippines can keep on going without a proper sewerage system, hmm? Right there, Your Honor. Now, Jack, where can we send you, huh? Jack, wake up. Bishop, I wouldn't do that. You shut up. Jack, wake up. Oh, my God, if you think this place is bad, wait till you see your new parish. Just wait until you see. <laughs> well, that's it, then. I suppose, I suppose all we can do now is pack. <clears throat> Ted, I don't want to go to the Philippines. I mean, I can't even spell the Philippines. I know it begins with an F, but I... <laughs> I know, I know. If only there was some way we could persuade the bishop to change his mind, if only we had something we could bargain with. I don't know. What's that, Jack? Did you get a film? <laughs> the last thing I want to watch now is a film. That was great, wasn't it? <laughs> You're right there, Ted. Um, should we phone him now or will we watch it again? I think we'll watch it again. <laughs>